What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. Going to go over our friend Gala Games. Currently up 22%. Really? Is that how much we're up in the last 24 hours? I don't think so. I don't think that's correct. Um, let me reload that quickly. Well, <laughs> sitting at 0 0.038. Crypto.com says we're up 20% in the last 24 hours. We have seen a nice push. Uh, market cap 260 million 24 hour volume 271 million um, let's hop straight into the charts so we're going to start here on the one hour time frame so we talked about coming down in a wave c we entered our wave two pullback zone so we will first go over the bullish scenario as we have um, started to push up in a nice five wave move so there's two scenarios i'm going to quickly remove this yellow wave count the bullish scenario is the wave c is complete and the wave two is in, and now we begin to push up in a wave three. So we have a nice five wave move off the low, one, two, three, four, push up in a wave five. So if we could hold a wave two pullback and see continuation and break that wave five high, then there's a very strong possibility that the wave two low is in for Gala Games, and we'll start to push up in a massive wave three. Now, I found a bearish wave count because I was looking for one just in case we see a lower low. And um, this wave C is a five wave move. So this could be your wave one, wave two. This was a very long wave three, push up in a wave four, and then you'd see a lower low in a wave five to complete the wave C. Now, if we break above 0 0.038, which is the 0 0.5 on the Fibonacci, it would invalidate that bearish scenario and we could completely focus on the bullish scenario. As we can see, we pushed right up to that price, but we did not break 0 0.038 so if we break it then i would lean bullish for gala games and i would most likely look to complete my hodl position i have 50 percent of my planned allocation i believe in gala games right now so if we create that wave five we break 0 0.038 and we see that wave two pullback push up in a five wave move see that wave two pullback that's where i would look to add the other 50 percent of my hodl position and make it a full position as I do think there would be a high chance of a potential wave to low being in. Now, if we do fail to break above 0 0.038, and let's say we start to roll over from here, then the support you would need to watch as we have created a five wave move. If we did pull back from here, then you would look for that wave to pull back. So if we were able to hold all the way down to the 0.786, let me remove this fib so everything is more visible. Let me get this price target. Uh, bother. Yeah, 0 0.5, 0 0.786. So if we came down and we were able to hold 0 0.031, if we didn't break below it and we started to bounce, then that's when I would look to fill my auto position as that would be confirming a wave two pullback if we pull back from here. Of course, we could push higher. If we push higher and break 0 0.038 to invalidate that bearish wave four, it would be a good sign for the bulls. However, if we lose 0 0.031, we come down, we lose 0 0.786, higher likelihood you, you will see that wave five. That could take you down to like 0 0.027. Either way, I do think this is a good opportunity to get into Gala for the long term. Anything can happen, um, but especially if we hold that wave two, we bounce, we come up and we break that high. That's even stronger confirmation of pushing up in that wave three, which would give you a juicy breakout target if you take a fib extension from the bottom of wave one to the top. And if this were to be the wave two low, a juicy, juicy price target of about 26 cents. And from the current price, that would be an absolutely scrumptious appreciation. Let's go from the current price of 637%. And from the wave to low, uh, about 718%. I would love to see it. One of my largest positions is Gala Games. And I would love to add um, the rest of my planned allocation and ride it up for that wave three. Hopefully we see that we are pushing back up into the EMA, so just keep that in mind. If we do roll over and create a lower low, I think it would be the last low of this wave two and we'd push up in that wave three anyways. All right, gang, so the main support to watch if we roll over from here is not to break 0 0.031 for the bulls. If we break above 0 0.038 and validates that bearish wave four, if we get rejected, we break down and we lose 0 0.031, then we can create that lower low to about 0 0.027. 
7. Either way, I do think this is a good time to be adding to your huddle position. But I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just a young guy from Canada. All right, gang. Make sure to sign up to either Bybit or Bitget. Check out my full link tutorials. Email me or sign up email. Completely free access to my Discord of over 2,000 members posting chart patterns, talking all things crypto. Um, at the 10 USD membership, early access to my analysis, trade signals, crypto news. Members like to post their profits in here. My auto alt plays. All of that's coming in for only $10 a month. Same price as a Netflix subscription. Big Mac meal, which you shouldn't be eating because it's bad for your health. Sign up to the Patreon link, and I'll see you in the next video. Much love. Take care.